Okay, YouTubers, here it is. The Arma Outcast. This is my version of it. Um, looks like a normal Outcast, but this is the one that I made my hybrid Typhon off of. And uh, I'm still waiting for my T-Bone bumper to go on the front. But, um, these tires are the MX-38s, which are a little bit bigger than the ones that come on the Outcast. These are Badlands that are a little bit smaller than come on it. Um, Yvonne from um, Aussie RC, he had a comparison where he showed... Uh, don't mind my voice neither. My uh, son gave me a cold trying to get over it. Um, yeah, the Badlands are a little bit smaller. And these uh, Proline MX-38 are a little bit bigger. And they're wider. So I figured we're getting ready for snow. So um, I got rid of the Typhon, which... I can, I'm going to put it back in the spring, which is an easy fix. And I got the Outcast wing with the wheelie bar, which is badass. Got the body, just came in today. Um, and the good stuff is underneath. Now, um,. In order to make this, I just had to get the guards that bolt right on up. You just take off where my Typhon was, where this uh, red plate is. You take it off, buy these guards, and it comes with everything you need. You stick these guards on, um, buy the posts, the outcast posts. They bolt right on, and um, these are the set of body post for the big rock and the Nero I'm pretty sure um, it's all the same shit now um, I went and I wasn't getting my wheel spin and I went and put 150k I had originally 100k so I put that back oh grease I put the um, 100k back in the center. I got um, 60 weight. At 60 weight in the front. 100k the factory team silicone in the center. Um, 40 weight shock oil in the front and 50 weight in the back. So, they're all done. Um, the back diff, I just kept uh, stock. I think it's 10,000. Um, let it spin free. Let's see, what else do we do? Um, put a wild turbo fan in here, which I had no choice because uh, when I had taken out the my hybrid, the first run, a rock flew in there and chipped up one of my fan blades. So I put this... Uh, Wild turbo fan, listen how loud it is. <laughs> I don't need it to be cool right now, anyhow, it's winter time, but it'll help in the summer. Um, summertime, I already have it, but I didn't put it on because I don't need it. It's uh, the Hobby Wing heat sink and the fan on it. I think it's a 40 by 40 millimeter fan. Um, keeps these things really cool. This has got the, I think the stock is a 10 or a 12, but this is a 12. This is definitely a 12, but I don't know if the Outcast puts a 10 tooth in there. I'm not sure. I'll have to look that one up. And um, as you see, this is my uh, chassis to chassis brace I got. You just pick up a piece of. This, this is thick, 
basic uh, angle, aluminum angle, and um, basically you just notch it out so it sits into there. Don't mind the glare. And so that notches into that tower and just fit it snug in the here and then I zip tie it to the back tower. You know what I mean? So don't move around so you can actually pick it up. And now this um, is the chassis. This is to the Creighton. Alright. To the Creighton. And you just cut these ears off to make it flat. Cut them angle pieces off. And then these X braces see if that's better yeah get that light out of there the x braces you just cut them and dremel them out so you can get your brace right on through so this way your brace can go through and if you have to work on it these pins instead of putting that cotter pin and stuff um they ain't going nowhere i just slide the pins in this way if i have to work on it real easy i just slide the two pins out for this thing cut this uh zip tie and boop the whole thing comes out it's a quick easy um you know insurance policy because this thing when i had it out last that was one of my epic fails um i wasn't used to this short wheelbase because i had the crate in i had the talon and i went to jump and i did a backflip and then when I went to correct it, it was just, the wheel spin was crazy. I should have just did a double and that would have been alright. But I had too much gas and it came down, it hit the back. My wing mount broke, my chassis brace broke, my the uh, whole um, chassis, uh, aluminum chassis mount, shock mount broke right off the diff case so I had to change the diff case and um, that's it that's all that happened to that but that was enough because it was a little bit cold out and plus I totally messed up it was my fault 100% so what I'm gonna do is before I go bashing this I wanted to go bashing it tomorrow I was expecting my t-bone bumper to come in but it didn't so I'm going to wait for that T-Bone bumper to come in because I don't feel like switching it off of my, um, I have one on the Super Creighton, which I still didn't pick out because it looks too nice, but, um, I figure if I put that T-Bone bumper instead of buying the little bumper thing that they have that says Outcast on it, I'm going to get the T-Bone bumper to come up. So when I do mess up, instead of it messing this and pushing on these tower braces, it's going to transfer all the power right to this area, right here, because that's where it hooks. It'll transfer all the power to here instead of the top. And then that brace is going to help. And this thing here with the crate, and it, it, as you can see, if I push down like that, it's perfect. It's a perfect match. And these body mounts, are, it's perfect. It's perfect tight, just like it's supposed to be. Except, this is my one of a kind. Um, I didn't put the high up things. That's the only thing I didn't order. Which, it wasn't a money thing. Because, um, uh... I guess to hold up mud or dirt or whatnot, they have it, it comes up higher so you don't see all this. But I like to get into my switch right here. You know, on the other one, I guess I don't know if you have to you know, have to bend the body or if they have the switch in a different spot. But I was thinking about it and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna leave it like this because I could get to my switch. Um, it's gonna get dirty anyhow. You're gonna have to clean it. And, um, yeah, it is what it is. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this badass thing for winter jumps, 
beating the crap out of. And then springtime is going to roll on. And then I'm going to put these Badlands. Put the Typhon body. Which is right here. Typhon body, Badlands, boom. And this thing, I'm telling you guys. Anybody that gets an outcast. Um, you guys are one step closer to having an awesome track vehicle because um you take this body thing off change some body posts put that typhon body on it and i'm telling you this thing is off the chains it's, it hooks up awesome because you got to figure how this handles with these big tires you put these little bad lands with this nice low profile body so, um, this is going to help a lot as far as, um, I think, as far as wheel spin, too. Because now my my weight's up higher. My center of gravity's up higher. Even though it's not a lot, but. And, um, I don't know. Everybody, everybody says his body's real thick and holds up. But, I got my, um, deadliner stuff. This isn't the same shit I use. This is some shit I found at, I don't know, Home Depot or something. It's a truck bed liner from Rust Oil. I figured I'd give it a shot. The last stuff I used, uh, I got from Pep Boys. And it said it was flexible, but, yeah, I figure I'm just gonna throw a coat of paint on this. Just to help it out a little bit, I guess. But, um, I've seen videos, and this thing getting beat to crap on the body still holding on, so it must be pretty strong. Just uh, a little tricky getting it on, because it wants to catch on to the springs right there. Once you get it past the spring, you got it. Yeah, it's really nice wheelie bar. I like it. I'm going to order a couple more. Cause I got two of them in, so I'm gonna put one on the, the Super Creighton. But there's no hurry on that since I didn't bring it out yet. Now I've been working on this. I got the regular Creighton down there and all the other ones out in the garage. So I gotta start putting all my stuff in the garage. Uh, Christmas is coming, my wife wants her downstairs back. This is her, this is her storage room. <laughs> I took it over. I took it over. I've set up my um, couple benches and do my RCs in here instead of being stuck in the garage. But she's kicking me out. But that's it. It's pretty badass. Um, I'm gonna get some videos going. What I did was um, also since it's gonna be bashing. Um, you'll hear the air. I put the hole in the tire and plugged up the, um, the rim holes because there was two rim holes on this. So I plugged up the rim holes and put the, the, um, hole in the tire so it doesn't suck in the water and snow and all that shit and ruin the foam. Because, like I said in my other videos, um, Proline 30, C no, Proline Trencher 40 series were my best bashing tires. And they're the only ones that don't have a hole in the rims. And they have one nice size hole in the tire. And, um, I haven't had any issues with water. Because you got to figure, if you're getting water and you're spinning these tires, the, the force is going to want to suck it into the foam and um, if your rims don't have a hole and you go through water and your tires are spinning real fast it's going to be blowing out of the hole it's not going to suck it in so you ain't got to worry about water getting in there so it, it's worked all my tires every tire I have um, even these if you could see it let's see that's the that's the clay. That's 
the clay for the hole. Maybe these ones I didn't do. I might not have done these. Hmm. It's all dirty. I can't see in there. But yeah, all my other tires. Um. Yeah, here's the 40 series. These are the 40 series, Trencher 40 series. No offset. No hole in the tire, um, rim. And they put one hole in the tire right there. Right here. See that one hole? And that's it. And these things are the best bashing tires out there by far. They don't balloon. Um, these ones do balloon. But they came pre mounted, so I wasn't ungluing them and strapping them. So it is what it is. Plus, I want them to balloon um, to uh, flip me back on my, my feet. So I had to keep on going and flipping it over. Even though I know it's not good for the diffs, but. That's it, man. Outcast. I'm going to cut this short, even though it's probably longer than I thought. Let's see what it says. Oh, 16 minutes. Damn. Hmm. All right, YouTubers. Bash on. I'm out.